Hi, I'm Christian Delfino with Roland, and we are here doing a preview of the M5000 digital console, which is based on a new technology platform we call ORCA. It stands for Open High Resolution Configurable Architecture Console. So one of the key points is the configurable architecture. What we give you the ability to do is instead of uh, predetermining how many auxes, mix buses, matrices, input channels you have, we give you a full 128 audio pass with full DSP processing that you can arrange in any way that you want. So you can determine how many input channels uh, that you have. Also, you can determine how many outputs. So you can choose any number of input channels, main uh, mix types, and we have uh, here, uh, 5.1, left, right, stereo, down mix, cross matrix LCR, LCR. Uh, we have true subgroups with audio processing. We have uh, auxiliary buses. We have mix minus, which are, of course, great for broadcast. Uh, we have true matrices and then uh, some additional audio paths that you can determine. And in addition to that, you always have 24 DCAs. So this is great for a number of applications. You want to put this console into broadcast, just set it up for a 5.1 surround, and you're ready to go for a 5.1 surround broadcast. You want to mix monitors and you need tons and tons of auxes, just assign yourself any number of auxes. Right now we're currently running with uh, 33 auxes um, active in this console. And if I want to add more, I just go in here. I'm going to add my, another 12 for myself, add those, and now I have 45 aux buses um, that I'm mixing in addition to my 51 uh, input channels in this case. So very, very powerful. Now. With all these channels, we give you up to 300 inputs that you can mix at 96 kilohertz. But we have 16 by 16 local I.O. for your analog XLR inputs, in addition to uh, to, uh, two AES EBU stereo inputs and two stereo AES EBU outputs. And that's in addition to the two REAC ports that we have here. So all of the REAC uh, components that we made, all our digital snakes, all of our personal mixers, our R1000 recording, are all 100% compatible with the M5000. So anything from 2005, anyone can just upgrade their system instantly by plugging into the M5000 and you right away have a 96K digital mixing system, which is awesome. Now, now, uh, we also talked about this console being open, and we have expandability using the two expansion slots. And each one of these expansion slots support 80 channels in and out, so expansion of an additional 160 channels total. And those expansion slots at launch will be uh, Dante, 64 channels uh, in and out. Uh, we will have Wave Sound Grid uh, compatibility. We will also have MADI cards, and then if you like some additional React ports, we can give you additional React cards um, for that as well. So very powerful, very extensible, and as new protocols come out, um, we will be able to build additional cards for this uh, console, but an 80 by 80 bus structure is, is absolutely awesome. Now, let's get into the workflow really, really quickly. Um, because we've given you all this flexibility to uh, arrange your input channels and your outputs, uh, we've made the interface as flexible as possible for a couple of reasons. One, people are coming from different console, uh, digital console backgrounds. They have different workflows that they become accustomed to. We want people to be very comfortable doing it. But we haven't fixed anybody into working in any particular style. So uh, what we've given you are three banks of eight uh, faders, in addition to a bank of four faders that are custom assignable and will always stay up and on top. So you can always access those. You can call those your money channels. So the way these work, uh, simply choose, right now I have all three of them linked, so they're all gonna work together. And I can simply scroll uh, in groups of eight all the way across uh, to all my different uh, input channels. So that is uh, one way of working. At any time, I can isolate any one of these layers and as I move or make adjustments, this tile uh, stays entirely uh, the same way it was. I'm gonna change this one to be my DCA uh, bus channel. And if I go across here, I now have my DCAs up. And this is my DCA for drums. Another way that I can use this console is by doing a spill. So if I double tap the select button, for my uh, drum DCA, it spills all of my drum channels out here. If I spill my vocals, double tap, now I have my vocal channels up here. So very fast uh, to be able to get to the channels that are part of uh, your DCA's mixing here. Now, because we give you the capability to really put, if you wanted to, you know, 96, 128 uh, input channels, uh, we've created jump points or markers that you can assign in here. So to do that, simply double tap, hold both of the scroll buttons together, and I can jump to 
uh, for example, the, my piano just hit that and it brings my piano and all the corresponding channels that are next to it right to the surface right away. So very easy to be able to jump in there. And we've also created a way to use the scribble strips um, as uh, menu features. So for example, if I want to set the color of any particular channel, I can just scroll through here and change the different colors uh, on the fly. So a couple different functions that you can do there. If we move up to the uh, screen, this is a, uh, a touchscreen uh, interface. You can simply go to any parameter and, uh, and jump in there. And these are organized in channel strips of eight. Whatever you have all your uh, select buttons lit blue, that is the group of eight that you're currently uh, focused on. And what happens here is when you're in this mode, this row of buttons becomes the same parameter for all eight channels as does uh, this one. So right now we have it set up for uh, gain control on uh, these channels. Uh, right now this is set up for aux one. I can scroll through and choose uh, different auxes, or I can simply hit this button here and choose from the 33 auxes that are currently uh, programmed into the console. I have pan, I have some user parameters and things that I can do there as well. When I jump into an actual channel to edit it, if I go into the EQ, for example, first of all, you have these stunning graphics which look absolutely beautiful. Um, but now the knobs and buttons that are here, uh, this bottom row of eight, now get color coded to the knobs that are built in here. And then I also have a touch and turn system that I can just grab whatever parameter I want and select that and you can see the knob changes to match that parameter color and that's set up there. Also, it is a touch screen so I can move around and grab the EQ and zip it around like that. My channel strip is all laid out here. Here's my gain parameters, here's my uh, EQ, here's my dynamics, delay, auxiliary outputs, panning, uh, DCAs and mute groups, for example, across a uh, channel strip. Now moving over, again, uh, keeping on the interface is the user assignable section. And you can assign any parameter to the knobs or any parameter to the uh, buttons. And you see we have this really nice OLED screen that helps you remember exactly what's on each one of those buttons. To set it up is really, really fast. You hold down the display button until it blinks, turn the parameter you want to assign, come over to the assignment anything that turns orange you can tap on it will now be assigned so this is now the pan control for that uh, piano channel right there so it's that fast and that easy a couple ways to use it you can use it in line with these faders um, that are set up so maybe this is your uh, lead vocalist and this is can be either the gain for example for that lead vocalist or you could set up how much of the lead vocalist vocal you're sending into their monitor mix for example so incredible flexibility that you're able uh, to pull off there. In terms of additional DSP, in addition to the EQ um, and uh, compressors, dynamics we showed you, we have 32 31 band graphic EQs uh, that we have the ability uh, to do. We can put these onto faders um, to adjust our uh, mix. Uh, in terms of the queue, we have both proportional and constant uh, queue that you can add to the 31 band graphics. And we have the ability to group these into one of eight groups. Um, so if I make the adjustments to one, all the other EQs that are in that group uh, will follow along, which is awesome uh, for setting up a bunch of wedges together. Um, any one of the 31 band uh, graphics can also be changed into an eight band uh, parametric for those that prefer to mix uh, that way. If we go into effects here, we have eight stereo effects processors. Lots of classic uh, Roland effects are also included. SRV 2000, for example, SDE 3000. Um, also the Roland Space Echo. Um, or you can turn these into additional graphic EQs if 32 for some reason wasn't enough for you. Uh, you could add up to another 16 uh, in this case. So really an extremely powerful uh, console. There will be iPad applications for it, also uh, computer remote software. One of the other nice new features in the uh, console will be the ability to use the USB port as a 16 by 16 um, audio interface. And again, all running at 96K, new Orca technology platform from Roland, uh, powering the M5000. And again, anybody who is currently in the React world with any one of our current vMixer or even just our digital snakes, you're already ready to go and fully compatible with the M5000.